Sikhi says you can't have a boyfriend and girlfriend. Sorry. <laughs> right? Dating is not part of Sikhi. Okay? People getting engaged to get married is part of Sikhi. People dating and then breaking up and then having another dating and breaking up, that ain't part of Sikhi. Yeah? Now admittedly for people like myself that come from that environment, that that was the norm, that's a bit of a harsh one to take in. For the people that are coming from Amritali family, that's not a big deal. Yeah? Like I understand that already, but then they've got the environment around them that actually sort of supports them to be that way. So when somebody comes into Sikhi from outside, you have to be very clear. Okay, in Sikhi, you can't date, can't be going on dates each other with each other, and your boyfriend girlfriend. And there's no concept of marriage. There's no sort of commitment to each other. Okay, if you um, are engaged to somebody, okay, and you got you're, you're engaged to get married. Dates being set. And you, then you can go and spend time together. But then even then you can't break your red. Okay? With, when it says boyfriend, girlfriend in the Western world, okay, you know, like we're not in India, 12 year old, that's 12 year olds in India talking, oh, he held my hand. We're talking that like in the West, boyfriend, girlfriend means the same as a married couple. People are living together, they're having kids together, they're sleeping with each other, and they're boyfriend and girlfriend. That, if you ask this question in that context, no way, absolutely not. But if you've got two, a boy and girl, and they're not even, firstly, when this is boy and girl, understand this part, right? Okay, if you're not ready to get married, then don't be going down that route. If you are already in next year to get married, don't start looking for a partner. You understand? Why are you doing that for? It's like, going to go nowhere. So you should, I believe that there's no, there's no dating. I believe that when you get to a time when you're ready to get married, okay, then use the system around you. You might have a bajolan people available to you, you might have friends, you might have your parents, okay? Tell them, okay, I'm not ready to get married, okay? Find someone suitable for me. It might be you've already found someone sensible, right? And you're thinking, Maharaj, what do you think I should do about this? This, this person I like? Now you might say, I don't want to take a woman by myself to go to the process person because it might not work out. I want to have someone approach that person on my behalf or approach her family and then try and, um, if she's agreed to Samatagi, then take a hukumnama with him and she get married. Or other people are like, I'm, I'm an example, taking a hukumnama, not actually about marriage, but just like, you know, about something I've never told to get married. Or other people I've heard about, that were like, I might get, I, I could think about approaching my parents about this girl, if the hukumnama came from mother to say X or something, and the mother of the said, yes, go and do it. So, the thing is, it is great. It's, it's, it's not so, not so great. It's like it's in the sky. Everybody's marking their own path in their marriage. No one has the same story as anybody else and how they got married. But one thing is sure, this idea of 16, 15 year old Amritali girls and boys going out on dates, or even non-Amritali people going out on dates and then getting to know each other, blah, 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 and then one day looking to get married, maybe or not, that ain't part of Sikhi, okay? If you're 21, 22, you're going to get married, you're ready to get married, then you can tell your parents and go to the system yourself. Why is this? Because you're putting calm, and this is why it's important part, right? Don't, don't be kidding a kidder. I know exactly what it goes on in boyfriend girlfriend relationships. You know, I've been in too many myself to count. So at this moment in time, you all know what it is. You're in a relationship. It's not going towards marriage. It's just calm. Okay? You may like the other person, but you can be friends, platonic friends. When you've got boyfriend girlfriend, okay, there's calm there. Now calm is part of life, but it's part of married life. It's not part of chari and life. Chari hagyo, park it, focus. When you're young especially, pray karo, kam swaro apne. Learn sikhi, learn bhaan, learn itihas. Do you know what Pai Sahib and Mika, I'll put these 100% same with us. I can guess without even knowing what he's going to say. You don't get the time when you're married to do what you wanted to do. Your itihas studies, your gurbani studies, it's like that gets parked. And they got kids running around you. And then like screaming in the middle of the night and you have to get up. You can't say, oh, man, I'm going to do this Nah, if it's one morning, you're getting up looking after that kid for two hours. So, this is the best time to focus upon your Sikhi. When you're, well, not everybody, but like me and him, this is not the best time. But it's, for you, love, for the younger love, this is the best time to focus on your Sikhi. Yeah? At this point, you're chale, no one cares. You're like, 
oh, I can't even think what it's like to have that agenda anymore. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even tell you that you have no responsibility to figure it out yourself. Honestly, like you want, you will look back at this time and you will regret. Honestly, you regret not spending more time investing in your sikhi. So learn Bani, learn it to us, learn as much as you can, get as much Bani cunt. So when your kid is sitting there crying and you can't do your nickname with a good car, you can walk around with them and do your nickname, okay? Bani cunt karo as much as you can. At least your poor it in the bit name to karo. Yeah? Because you, you know you can't always have that with the kids. Then uh, yeah, don't go down that boyfriend girlfriend route. Engage. If you're engaged, it's a different thing. But then it could be like you. You don't don't get engaged. And don't tell anybody else. Yeah, that kind of engagement is not an engagement. Do you get that? You get together, <laughs> get the parents together, and do an engagement. Okay, and then you're engaged. Everybody knows about it. So all being cooked to that I think we need to understand the intention of a boyfriend girlfriend. Um, it's typically related to wanting companionship and wanting somebody to have with you to be at your side on the surface. Um, below that surface is a lot of feelings, a lot of animal instinct that you may think you have control over and you do not. Um, I am, uh, I was an introvert by nature, so I used to sit on the, on the forums and internet and read through all the different Sikhi forums. And there are multiple stories of Things like, I'm an Amritari Gursik, I went out with an Amritari girl, we went to a room and stuff happened, what do I do now? This is the reality of what happens. You could be the strongest sick in the world, and that one second that you slip, you will pay for it. You'll break your sick key. You have to go down the road of an an analyzing and reliving what you've done, feeling guilty about it over and over and over. And God help you if there's not an Amritsan job in the next few months. You have to deal with that agony for months. And then you have to go in front of the Banjibya, the Guru Sahib, and explain yourself. So you went there first, you gave your head and said, I'm going to follow Sikhi Guru Sahib as to what you said. And then you have to go front, in front of the Banjibya and say, this is what I've done. I think that is something you have to keep in mind all the time, is what are the consequences? That's the spiritual consequence. God help you if the consequence is that you have a child on the way. These are realities. These are realities. You guys go to high school, you know that there are teenage pregnancies that happen around you. You know this is life. You know it can ruin your life. I actually had a, a talk with the, some of the knowledge of in the, in the camp we did in California. And I said, you know, you guys tell me. I said, yeah, you know, there's this guy, really, really high hopes, got good grades, got his girlfriend pregnant, and now he's flipping burgers at McDonald's. His life's gone because he has to provide. And thank God he's a good father. At least he took responsibility and decided that he's going to do something. Education is gone. He has no potential. He's going to be at home with a kid. His life's over. There are consequences. Guru Sahib did not make these boundaries for no reason. When you have a marriage and you have kids, that's the purpose, one of the purposes of marriage. Like we were discussing before, it's a seva. When you have kids, when out of the product of love of two individuals who are married, a kid is born, they nurture that child, they raise that child, and as a Gursik, your responsibility, per the Sikh Mariyadda, is to raise that child as best as you can as a Gursik. You're doing the Seva to the Pant. Pant the Vata Hurya. The relationship between a man and a woman in marriage is a very sacred bond. It is not a carnal relationship. It goes way beyond that. This is something only married people will understand. Uh, it is not just a, a physical pleasure. It is something of a very, very deep bond that you share as husband and wife. It is something that will, pro- will propel you to have a very, very long-lasting, lifelong relationship that will support and nurture each other. You are each other's support when you're married. You are each other's sangat when you're married. And if you are a good karam and you get a good wife, that wife will push you and you Sikhi and you will push your wife in Sikhi. Those marriages are rare. There are a lot of times where the, the husband and wife are not uh, in alignment with their views. Uh, but there are a lot of good Sikhs who actually do have supporting relationships and they will attest to it, and I will attest to it, that being a married person with a good Sikh, your Sikhi is pushed forward way more than you can do alone. 
So don't treat marriage as a fulfillment of a physical requirement. Marriage is a very, very deep spiritual relationship that will take you much farther in Sikhi than you would ever imagine. But understand that if you try to engage in a relationship, your mind will play tricks on you. Oh, I'm not going to do anything, we're just going to hang out. Oh, you know, I just need companionship, I'm lonely. That's not what's going to happen. That's not what your mind is going to do. In fact, you may not even be in control of your mind when a situation goes down. The next thing you know, you may be paying for something that you would never thought you would ever do. And this can happen to that one, verse 6, get about Amritullah and do part, do the name and do Namsam and do everything else, and we'll destroy that in minutes. So it is a very dangerous proposition. Uh, one example that comes to mind is Sayyid Kaniya Sandal Harnam Singh. He said, The best advice I got from my Pagdi was from an elder Gursik who said, Always look at your feet. He said that was the best spiritual advice I ever got because I never made eye contact with anybody and never established a relationship. That's a very dangerous thing. We live in a world where a lot of people are, are um, sending out very negative vibes like we were discussing before with, with television and movies. And there's a lot of negative stimuli in this world that will take your emotions and your animal instincts and bring them out. Um, avoid them at all costs. Avoid boyfriends and girlfriends as much as you can. Marriage is different. Even when you look at Gursiks when they're engaged, they will insist a lot of times, and the elders that get them engaged, that because those feelings start. Those feelings start very, very quickly. Even if you go to universities and schools, all it takes is the person whispering in your ear, I think she likes you or I think he likes you, to start that damag. Okay, so you have to be very careful and understand that this is something that is very deeply rooted in your animal instincts. It will cause your mind to behave in ways you may not be able to control. So be very, very careful with this. Boyfriend and girlfriend are absolutely not allowed. And if you're in a relationship towards where you're engaged, I personally advocate that you get married as soon as possible so those feelings have no chance and you can't destroy your sick.